So that's our that's our function, and this is our formula. And for, we'll either put a one or a negative one, depending on if we want the plus or the minus in our formula. So let's calculate the zeros. Let's go ahead and make int positive zero and negative zero. Something to store these in. Uh, positive zero is going to equal. Let's go up. Find zero. Uh, and then we'll copy in a, b, and c. And then, since it's the positive zero, we'll go ahead and put a one. Negative zero, find zero, similar, a, b, c, except with negative one. And then we'll go ahead and uh, output these. Uh, positive zero. Yeah, negative zero. Actually, we should probably call this plus zero and minus zero because a positive it, it's possible for a positive zero to be um, a negative number. Uh, so instead, we'll put plus zero and minus zero because that's this is plus or minus. So it makes more sense intuitively. Um, so cool. That should do it for this program. It should go ahead and work. Let's save it out to the desktop as quad.cpp, short for quadratic. Let's get terminal up. CAD desktop, G++ O quad, quad.cpp. All right, no errors. Um, let's run it. So I'm not just going to make one of these up off the spot. Um, let's do negative uh, 1 times x squared. Um, plus 1 times x plus 0. I have CB0 for now. And we get this nice curve, kind of looks like a, you know, like a baseball or something. Uh, the first zero is going to be at zero, and the second zero is going to be at one. Um, so those are nice whole numbers. Like I said, integers are data types that only like integers, numbers without decimals. So that's why we're going to use this function because it has nice whole zeros. So let's go ahead and put this in. Uh, a is going to be negative 1, B is just going to be 1, and C is going to be 0. We got our positive 0 is 0, and our minus 0 is, uh, is 1. Now, I forgot to add those end L's in, so let's add those in. Because, as you can see, if you forget to add your returns, yeah, your data can look pretty ugly and disorganized. So let's fi fix that, rerun it, negative 1, 1, 0. Awesome. We got our results, 0 and 1. They're correct. So that's really cool. Uh, that, that should do it for this program. Uh, this was to show functions and how we can use, um, use only have to type the formula once, but still use uh, varying parameters um, for, for our values. Uh, so also, I mean, if we were doing this, this calculation a few times, if we were having them enter you know, multiple quadratic equations that they wanted to solve, we were only going to have to call this function. We don't have to copy this formula everywhere because there's obviously um, a possibility for human error. Uh, I could, you know, write SQT instead of SQRT, and that's just going to take more time to fix those errors, and it, it'll make more headaches. So it's easier to just have functions to do the, to do the hard work for us, and um, it'll take less time that way as well. So... I think that's it for this video. If you liked the video, rate it four or five stars. If you didn't like it, be honest, give it one or two stars. Um, I won't be offended. I will be grateful for feedback, positive or negative. So um, if, uh, if you're liking these videos, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be making some more, and that will notify you when I, uh, when, I, when I upload a new one. Uh, also, if you're struggling or you, you just have any questions in general, go ahead and leave a comment or send me a message on my channel. I'd, uh, I'd really like to help, help you out in your understanding of the language. So thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.